that report. Take a look here. COVID-19 numbers keep trending towards pre-Omicron levels in North Carolina. Here we see cases, hospitalized people with COVID and the test positivity rate all down 70 to 80 percent from those peak levels in January. So continuing to head in the right direction. We know health officials have credited vaccines with a lot of this decline. They say that those are going to remain important as we head towards the endemic, but some kids might not be as protected by some shots as previously thought. WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner joining us live at Novant Health and Elizabeth to talk about this new study. Chloe, that's looking at Pfizer's vaccine for five to 11 year olds. What do parents need to know about this? Yeah, hey Vanessa, this study isn't peer reviewed, so there is still a lot of research to be done here, but the headline probably not what parents want to hear. The study found that as Omicron was spreading, the youngest kids, ages 5 to 11, they weren't as protected by the vaccines. The effectiveness in preventing an infection down to 12%. Unsettling new data now raising questions about the Pfizer COVID vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. The vaccines have proven to be very safe in children, but in several instances not as effective as we would like, uh, particularly in kids under the age of 12. Research out of New York State showing the vaccine's effectiveness in that age group dropped from 68% in mid-December to 12% in January. More kids got sick from the Omicron variant than at any other point of the pandemic. Plus, 5 to 11-year-olds are given one-third of the dosage of everyone else. It doesn't mean it doesn't have value, um, but it doesn't have the rigorous protection that I think vac vaccine manufacturers would like. Um, and so I think it's, and that's, uh, that's a dosing issue. Um, and maybe the dose needs to be adjusted. Since becoming eligible for the shots in November, about 232,000 North Carolinians ages 5 to 11 have been given at least one dose. That's 26% of the age group. Doctors say COVID vaccines are not designed to prevent an infection altogether. Parents might be skeptical and hesitant and say that a vaccine does not help due to this data, but that's not true. It did still protect against death and serious disease, and it did not show any safety issues. They are continuing to look at the data and they are uh, considering a third dose for this group. A few weeks ago, the company postponed seeking FDA approval for their shot in six month old to four year olds. Live at Novant Health, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Chloe, thank you.